Hello boys and girls, welcome back to a brand new review, and this time we're reviewing a game called Hook on the PC. This is a puzzle game that was very cheap on Steam, so I thought I might as well see how bad a game can be can be for 79p. Plus I had overwhelming positive reviews, so I had my hopes up. Anyway, it's time for a review. The purpose of the game is to try and get all the lines that you see on screen to disappear. You do this by pressing different black buttons, coming off each black button is lines that will cause the bigger lines to disappear. It's not as simple as it sounds, as some lines are blocked by other lines, if you press the button when this happens you will fail that level and will have to start all over again. I am personally very ter very bad at puzzle games, my brain is not able to handle the logic that is required in a puzzle game, but for me at first the game was very easy, it was just simple pressing the buttons in the right order and you would pass the level. As the game progressed it got harder but only slowly and I, th and I think that was the perfect amount, because it means the like, difficulty curve was quite small which was great. I was able to progress through the levels with only getting stuck on one or two for more than a couple of goes. It was the last five levels that made me spend 10 minutes on each level just trying to figure out what I was supposed to do. The music is decent, it doesn't distract you from the game and there's a nice slow tempo which is needed in this sort of game. At first I was wondering why they even had music when they wanted people to play a puzzle game but having the backing track was a welcome feature by the end of the game. The game played very well, I was never blamed, I never blamed the game for making me fail at level as I know that it was my fault for not noticing that a line was connected to another line. The game is short as it only has 50 levels so it won't take you more than 2 hours max to finish the game. Even though I'm not normally a fan of short games, I do Th think this is the perfect amount of time, as if I had to play any more then I would have got the s sick of the game and wouldn't want it to play anymore. Give this game a go if you like puzzle games or if you're just wanting something new to play and don't have a lot of spare money. This has been Aaron Marsa and I'll see you in the next one, bye guys.